Doncaster Rovers' Bells have been in the top flight of women's football for 22 years. They have won the FA Women's Cup six times, the old FA Women's Premier League twice, and between 1978 and 1993, the Bells only lost one league match. The FA's new Game Changer initiative, introduced eight months ago, has put new standards in place to strengthen the women's game. But Doncaster Rovers Bells is a community club with minimal resources and they have struggled to meet the new criteria. The reaction to the decision to demote the Bells has been fierce and the headlines do not make comfortable reading for the FA. The feeling in Doncaster is still one of shock and disappointment. Gutted, devastated, um, difficult to take. 44 years of heritage doesn't give you a divine right to be in the top flight from a respect point of view, from ethics and morality. We've been trapped badly. Playing, winning, losing on a pitch, promotion and relegation is what sport we believed was about. I mean, to tell a team after one game of the season is criminal. It's just so difficult to then try and pick players up, pick staff up, to see where we're going. But, and you know, credit to the girls, to be fair to them. Uh, they've done great and they're quite a strong-minded little bunch. The FA have robustly defended their position with a 38-page legal summary and this statement. The decision by the selection panel not to offer the club an FA WSL1 licence was due primarily to them being unable to satisfactorily meet minimum facility requirements, alongside further concerns on their commercial and marketing strategies. Doncaster continue to maintain that their facilities at the Keepmoat Stadium are up to scratch and they can fulfil the fixture list. But at this stage, their position in WSL 2 is not even confirmed, as according to the FA, they still have some criteria to meet. The Bells have finished next to bottom in the two seasons since the WSL was formed and have struggled on the pitch this season under the cloud of the FA's decision but the club are determined they have a positive future to look forward to. You take the, the hit that you've got and, and you continue on the football field. 4th of August, we'll be playing Chelsea. We'll put our heart and soul into not finishing bottom. If ever there was a challenge to prove somebody wrong, that would be it. Most people will be sitting thinking, oh, the FA this, the FA... We just got on with it. We went to the appeal, we were hoping that something could happen. It hasn't. So what we're not going to do now is labour on the fact that it's went against us. We just have to prepare and get ourselves ready for, um, for what's next.